As a teenager, there is a phrase I didn't quite understand, which was, most millionaires and most business people use debt. So as a child, my parents always told me to stay away from debt, do not borrow money from people, do not go into debt, don't borrow money. But how did millionaires and business owners use debt to be able to get richer? So I didn't understand the difference between good debt and bad debt. And it took me a while before I actually understood the difference. So I had to go to the university to actually understand what the difference is between good debt and bad debt. And that's what we're going to focus on in this video. So hi guys, welcome to The Smiling Professor. My name is Dr. Bukala and today we're going to discuss the basic difference between good debt and bad debt so you understand. So before we even go to discuss that, what is debt? So debt is a sum of money that you owe someone or you owe an institution that is due. So depending on where you grew up and depending on your family, a lot of people feel that owing people money may be a bad thing. But that's what we're going to discuss. There is a difference between good debt and bad debt. So with good debt, it helps increase your wealth or it has the potential to increase your wealth. Don't worry, we're going to discuss an example. But I've told you what good debt is. So now what is bad debt? So bad debt has the potential to cost you more money and actually depreciate your assets. So with bad debt, the probability of you making money is low. And this could be because it could have high interest with no added value. So now let's discuss an example. It's all over the news and in media that Aliko Dangote, who is regarded as one of the richest men in Africa, is building a refinery in Lagos. So for him to be able to afford to build such a refinery, he must have borrowed money from financial institutions. So he must have gone to these financial institutions, asked them to lend him money, provided them with some collateral, and he has been able to borrow this money to build the refinery. In this case, this is a good debt because he has used the money to build an asset that would generate him more money. After the completion of this refinery, he will be able to refine crude, sell the crude, and the money he gets from the sales of the crude, he will be able to pay the bank back their capital and their interest, and the difference that is left would be his gain. So now the money he has borrowed to build the refinery would be able to generate him profits. If everything goes as he has planned, let me give you another example. So let's say you want to build a house. So you've decided to build a house, but instead of building one bedroom house for just you and your family, you decide that you want to build four bedrooms. So you go to the bank, you borrow money, you put up an asset, they give you that money and you're able to build this house. After you build the house, you're staying in just one bedroom and you rented the other three out to other people. And now they are paying you rent. With the rents that they are paying you, you're able to pay back the bank the money that you borrowed from them and you have some money left over. So that money is your profit. And because you're able to service your debt, paying back the bank the money you owe and you still have some money left over, this is a good debt. So don't forget, assets like houses appreciate over time. And if you finish paying the bank over a while and decide that you don't want to keep this house anymore, you want to sell it, you'll be able to sell it and make a profit. The debt you had borrowed from the bank at the end of the day would be able to increase your wealth. So obviously, this explanation is done in the most simplest of manner. But this is what good debt means. So now, what is bad debt? If you're liking this video so far, please click the like button and leave a comment down in the comment section below because it helps boost the video. And don't forget to share it with your family and friends. Now let's go back to our topic of discussion. Bad debt is a debt that is costing you more money. It is not actually generating value for you and it actually has a depreciating asset. So let me give you an example. So you're getting married and you have a wedding coming up. You have invited a lot of people and you don't actually have money to fund this wedding. So you go to the bank or you go to financial institution and borrow lots of money just so you can fund this wedding. So you can have the nicest of clothes, the nicest of food, the nicest of a venue. And after the wedding, you did not get enough gifts 
in order to pay off these debts. Although personally, I don't believe that you should fund your wedding with debts, but it's left to individuals. But let's just talk about it in terms of business and management. So now you funded this wedding with money you have actually borrowed. And at the end of the day, you were not able to generate profits. So you didn't get enough gifts or you didn't get enough donations from well wishers in order to pay off this loan. So this is a bad debt. Because at the end of this wedding, you would have spent all your money that you borrowed from the bank. And when the wedding is over, although you and your partner could be happy, but you would have been happy if you had a small wedding. That's the most important thing. You're spending your life with someone. Please don't get it wrong. I'm not against big weddings. I'm just giving you an example of a bad debt. So at the end of the day, you still have to pay the bank back their money. Yes. But the ceremony is over. <laughs> your marriage will continue yes but the ceremony it's over i'll give you another example you go to your friend or you go to a financial institution to borrow money to shop yes to shop for expensive or luxury items that do not have appreciating value so after you buy let's say a handbag or a shoe or a jacket immediately you leave the shop with that item the value depreciates it doesn't have a good resale value but now you have this debt that you have to pay back this is bad debt because this purchase is actually going to cost you more money and the asset you have is depreciating the value is not the same as when you bought it so before you go into debt the first question you have to ask yourself is is this good debt or is this bad debt would this debt actually increase my wealth or does this debt have the potential to increase my wealth or is this debt going to actually cost me more money what i'm about to buy is this an appreciating asset or a depreciating asset another important question you really have to ask yourself is do i have enough money to service this debt because when financial institutions borrow you money they are not just borrowing you the money out of the kindness of their hearts they are actually giving you this money in order for them to be able to make money in form of interest so most times you have to pay a bit of the capital and the interest either every month every three months every six months depending on your agreement with the person or the financial institution you borrowed this money from if you're going to borrow money to start a business for example the question you should ask yourself is when would this business actually be profitable how am I going to service my debt? How am I going to be able to pay back the person or the financial institution I have borrowed this money from? Most financial institutions such as banks don't actually bother themselves to care if you made profit or a loss. They want their money back. So this is why you have to conduct your business analysis to know when would I be profitable. At what point would I be profitable? If I project I'm going to be profitable in six months, how would I be able to service my debt in the meantime? So if you were like me and your parents told you to stay away from borrowing money or from debt, please let me know down in the comment section below. But what I want to say is they weren't wrong. They wanted us to stay away from bad debt because a lot of people don't know the difference. But debt is something that business people actually use for their benefits but that is because they are using good debts if this is a topic you want me to expand on please let me know down in the comment section below if you have any other questions let me know down in the comment section below if this is a topic you are actually used to and it's a topic you have a lot of knowledge on please let me know down in the comment section below the goal today was to discuss the difference between good debt and bad debt in the simplest of manner. So this is where we're going to end this video today. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel because learning is fun. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for being here. Please don't forget to click the notification bell so you always know when I upload and like and share my videos. Thanks guys. See you. Bye.